Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you my end of the year shopping haul. This is pretty much a before Christmas shopping haul that is supposed to be everything we need for the holiday season and then in through the next year. Here I'm just making sure to wipe everything down and then I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it so it's a little easier for me to see while I'm trying to tell you guys everything that I got. It is a little bit of everything so it's kind of hard to just categorize it all and make it all make sense but I will do the best I can. Everything here was either bought at Walmart, Costco, or a little carniceria which is a Mexican butcher shop that I enjoy going to and we just go there for fresh produce and meat sometimes. Starting off with spaghetti sauces. These are a dairy free. This is just a can of baked beans. It'll go for a dinner side. Some mustard. We seem to go through this fast. Some applesauce. This will be good for baking. Some sweet potatoes. This is a holiday request. Green beans. I got three big family size cans. I got a bunch of these different pie fillings and hoping that they are dairy free. It's really hard to tell. Two of them definitely say they are. The apple one, maybe not so much. So I'll keep you guys updated. Just some cheap ketchup. The kids go through it. It goes on everything for them. They also like these flavor sticks. I got two boxes of the 40 packs. We got some of these quick and easy lunches. We like to put frozen shrimp on top and then just microwave them for an extra minute and then these ones too some of the larger you open it before you cook them meals um, a box of Kleenexes and these are my daughter's allergy friendly pastas that I get her and then these are just some quick lunches or dinners for my son some enchilada sauce everyone here loves enchiladas and just some jalapenos and then some canned fruit. These are apricots. Then I got a couple more cans of this chicken for my back stock. This is just a can of cranberry sauce, also a holiday request. I got some more of these wheat pastas to puff up like chips. Of course, some holiday candy for Christmas. The Yorks have eggs in them, so they're for the adults, but Kit Kats are for the kids. And then I bought a couple bags of these mini marshmallows because we are going through them with the hot chocolate. And then of course I hit the spice gold mine and I found actual whole nutmegs, just 99 cents. Um, I haven't been able to find majorum. Um, I wanted some dried rosemary and then the black pepper we were out of and then the whole allspice is very difficult to find as well so some of these i didn't even have and i was really happy to find them chamomile tea is pretty awesome and then like i said these whole nutmegs were only a dollar so here i got a plug-in for the bathroom i'm gonna see if i like this more than the wax warmer and i also got the strawberry syrup the kids like i got some flour tortillas these are the thicker ones I got some shortening for baking. I got a box of brownies for the adults. This giant box of Bisquick I got from Costco. Um, it's dairy free and egg free because you add your own eggs so the kids can eat it. And it's six pounds and it was under $5. So that should last us a while. I got some minced onion, some Italian seasoning, some parsley flakes some shelf-stable oat milk, a large stack of corn tortillas, a mayonnaise for my back stock. I got a box of these Rice Krispie treats because my son just loves these. They're super bribe. This is my daughter's favorite dairy-free popcorn. I got two of these cotton candy tubs for Christmas. The kids love cotton candy. And these Salsa Verde Doritos are the only dairy-free Doritos they have. This is a cooling rack I bought. I realized that when we had all the flooding, I threw my racks away and I forgot. So, and then I got some of these just disposable foil sheets for leftovers. And then I got some of these chocolate donuts, some cherry cordials, 
some cinnamon rolls, and some of these variety pack donuts, all for the adults. Oh, there's some Chips Ahoy's here. Um, these are egg free, so my son can have these. These are also a bribe for him, and these are for both of them. Just candy to have around Christmas time. A couple pecan pies because I'm not making pies this year. And then I got some more rubbing alcohol at Costco. We got a bag of these um, pull-ups, a loaf of sourdough bread, a package of hot dog buns, a loaf of white bread, and then I get these from Mario. He really likes the cherry zero sugar ones here. So here on the floor, we've got some orange juice, some sparkling cider, some Dr. Pepper, and some Dr. Pepper cherry. We have some Powerades. I bought a case of water from Costco that we've already broken into. I got a huge box of Capri Suns from Costco. I also bought a huge box of Swiss Miss from Costco. The Kool-Aids are from Walmart. I bought Era. I've been out of laundry detergent for a while. I found some Lysol today. Um, I needed some kitchen bags, so the kitchen bags are from Costco. I got some disinfecting wipes and some Suavitel. It's fabric softener, and for the cold stuff, I got some whole milk, just a half gallon. This is the Green Machine Naked. My daughter likes the juice, some sour cream, some whipped cream cheese. I'm going to try this plant-based butter avocados, a cucumber, some limes, and fresh jalapenos. I got my daughter two bags of the dairy-free mozzarella cheese and one bag of the yellow cheddar shreds. I got a bag of pepperoni for Christmas. We are doing like a meat and cheese tray. I'm in charge of the meat and cheese tray. And I got some more of this just regular cheese here. And then, like I said, we're trying this out for my daughter. I found this at Costco. I am in love with this. It was under $10 for two packs. And it has like two kinds of salamis, the copa and the prosciutto. It, it was delicious. I got some frozen blueberries because I want to make more muffins. Some of the frozen patties. These were a breakfast request. We wanted some dairy-free sausages so we just got some fresh sausages and then this is a huge bag of chicken breasts they're each individually wrapped so these hold up very well in the freezer and from the carniceria i got some adobado pork taco meat some longanisa from costco this is a little over seven pounds of ground beef and then from the carniceria I got some chicken thighs in here I just put it all into Ziploc bags I label it and then I squish it flat so that when I put it all in my freezer on top of the cutting board here you can see it'll all freeze flat and if you count you can see about how many meals you have you see, I have five ground beefs, a longanisa, and a chicken thigh, plus the huge bag of chicken breasts in the back. It's at least 10 plus meals, at least, easily. And then I actually cooked up the taco meat for dinner tonight, and we'll eat leftover tacos tomorrow, most likely. And I just use the fresh avocado cilantro I already had, and some onion, a little bit of lime. I also forgot to mention I bought a large bag of onions. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you maybe some meal ideas or just some general shopping ideas. Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comment box below, or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week.